I've done a lot of Blender tutorials, and you may have noticed that I've been slowing down in a number of them that I'm doing. Uh, and that's because uh, I've been playing a bit with Blender 2.5, and I've only been playing with it for just a little bit. But um, basically I realized most of my past tutorials are going to become obsolete once this hits mainstream because it's so different. But it's different in a good way. It's just going to take me a while to learn everything that's new so I can show it to you. So although I'm going to continue doing Blender videos on Blender 2.4, I'm going to on the side be learning 2.5 and hopefully start doing tutorials on that. But I thought I'd give you a quick look at it today. So this is the main screen when you come in. And uh, some key things that uh, have changed is uh, things like they made a lot of the shortcut keys uh, more like common shortcut keys. Like before it used to be control X to start a new, uh, a new scene or a new uh, project. And now it's control N, which is how most other programs do to start a new file. It's control N. Uh, the 3D view is is a lot like it used to be, you know, as far as the keys and stuff go. But um, spacebar doesn't bring up your regular menu to add objects. And also, before, you know, if you hit one, three, or seven, or zero, it moves you different views. It still does that, but it gives you actually kind of an animated uh, move instead of just jumping there, which is kind of cool. And the camera view gives you this little cropped view here. And I've only been playing with this very little. I don't even know how to split screens yet because you obviously don't do it the way you used to by right clicking on the edge of a screen like that. Uh, but uh, you can drag uh, little window options around like so. And uh, that's pretty neat. And my favorite thing uh, from the very little bit I've played with it so far is this. I'll unmaximize that a little bit. And now if I hit spacebar here, you can see I have an option for duplicate window, which is also control alt W. I'm going to choose that and it creates another blender window uh, where I can mute, move my view around. And the reason I think this is great because I have more than one monitor. Can't really show you that in the screen capture mode here without having a huge resolution video. Um, but it's, it would be great to be able to split this off into different views and then on like my second monitor just have this maximized to the camera view and be able to edit stuff and have a full window view or even just more working space the fact that I can uh, duplicate windows and drag them over to other windows uh, other monitors so that is a big plus for me because uh, I love that in most of my video editing programs that I can have one screen be a monitor uh, and the other one have my timeline and tools and now I can do that with blender as well um, so that's a quick look. As you can see, it's it's very different. I'm sure a lot of things are going to work pretty much the same, but then a lot of things are going to be new. It's mainly things have moved around. and I'm looking forward to learning this and sharing it with you. Uh, so keep watching. You'll see more videos on Blender 2.5 in the future from filmsbychris.com. Have a great day.